Hi everybody, it's Mr. Tommy from the After School Program. The 2020 election is finally over and it looks like former Vice President Joe Biden will be sworn in as our 46th president at 12 noon on January the 20th, 2021. Did you know Ohio is the mother of U.S. presidents? Ohio has sent more presidents to the White House than any other state. There was William Henry Harrison, Ulysses S. Grant, James A. Garfield, Benjamin Harrison, William McKinley, William H. Taft, Warren G. Harding, and Rutherford B. Hayes. For today's virtual field trip, we're going to head up to Fremont, Ohio to the home and presidential museum of our 19th president, Rutherford B. Hayes. Located around two hours from Columbus, the Rutherford B. Hayes Presidential Library and Center, along with his presidential home, have served as the residence to several generations of the Hayes family. Opening in 1916, the Rutherford B. Hayes Center was one of the first presidential libraries. There are more than 12,000 books and more than 70,000 volumes, newspapers, and journals from the Civil War to the beginning of World War I. There are also a number of items from his military and political careers and his time as president, which he served from 1877 to 1881. Hayes was born October the 4th, 1822 in Delaware, Ohio. He was married to Lucy Ware Webb and they had eight children. Rutherford B. Hayes was known for winning one of the closest presidential races in history. Some people believe he cheated because the results were very close. The final electoral college vote was 185 to 184. Some key accomplishments as president, Hayes oversaw the end of Reconstruction, there was the National Rail Strike, Thomas Edison invented the light bulb, and the Chinese Treaty of 1880. The First Lady, his wife Lucy, was the first First Lady to finish college. Hayes and his wife celebrated their 25th or silver wedding anniversary in the White House, and he was the first president to visit the West Coast. Lawyer, soldier, former Ohio governor, and 19th president of the United States, Hayes pledged to serve only one term. After the presidency, he retired to Fremont, Ohio in 1881. He spent the rest of his life working on the causes of children's literacy, prison reform, and the gap between rich and poor Americans. President Hayes died January the 17th, 1893. He is buried on the property along with his wife and other family members. I hope you enjoyed our virtual field trip. If you'd like to find out more about our 19th president, the Columbus Metropolitan Library has a number of books like this one. Also, the library has a number of great books about presidents from Ohio you may want to check out. Until next time, stay safe.